Hello everyone and welcome back. We're going to be continuing on in chapter 6, Mystery Shadows with Nicole. It has literally been two minutes since my last recording. <laughs> but we left off at a cliffhanger and I really need to... I really need to watch this. <laughs> Even though I already had the CG spoiled in the ending song of The Good End. So if you don't want CG spoils, don't watch that. It adds a CG on top of the what the opening trailer movie already shows you. So if you don't want a Nicole image spoiled, don't watch it. <laughs> I was unfortunate I watched it and I was like, oh dang it, now I know. But um, Katarina had been chased on deck by Frederick along with everyone else. They were going to try to capture Maria. The ship rocked as she was thrown overboard. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how you get up, back up onto a cruise ship after falling into the ocean because they don't know you're there and you can't really out swim a ship. So that, <laughs> I'm sure with magic you can get up there just fine, but an ordinary cruise ship, <laughs> you would not be able to get back on. I am sinking. My clothes are becoming waterlogged and heavy. In the distance, I could hear what sounds like a voice, but it might be a product of my hazy consciousness. Also, Nicole screamed her name and jumped in after her, at least. He screamed her name. I don't know if he jumped in because I wasn't sure if I heard it. I wasn't sure if I heard water splashy or not, but he's going to jump in after her. It hurts. I can't move. I can't breathe. What do I do? At this rate, I will meet my doom. Someone save me. <sighs> That's what he said before he jumped in. Oh, that's such a pretty scene. <laughs> like I saw it in I saw it in the ending song on the wall, but this is a really pretty image. He using his wind magic to give her breath. I mean, there's other ways to give her breath. I feel a tingle on my lips, and the breath I so desperately seek fills my body. Someone hugs me and I feel softly lifted, no longer sinking. I should be underwater, but somehow I feel a breeze. I can't make sense of my surroundings. Is it water? Air? In the strange sense, I feel like I'm being embraced. Ooh. No sound that leaves me. My consciousness darkens. I can barely remember who I am. Oh, poor Katarina. Also, I feel bad for Nicole having I mean, be scared like that. In the distance, I can almost hear crying. I was like, is that a girl's voice? Is that a guy's voice? But at the end, that's definitely a girl's voice. What is it? That sounds like waves. I reach out to that mournful sob. But someone holds me back, as if they are trying to say, don't go. In this icy cold world, their touch is warm, kind, and comfortable. Each time the current threatens to pull me down, that strong embrace holds me tight. In this surreal, soundless darkness, I slowly drift far, far away. Oh? They didn't make it to back to the boat. They're on a beach. <laughs> oh, this is what she says too. <laughs> and then my body is enormously heavy. I lie in a daze, barely able to open my eyes. Katarina. I feel someone touch my cheek. Light pats bring my consciousness to the surface. Katarina. I blink a few times and finally awaken. The scent of the sea wafts over me, and I sigh. Oh, As I wonder about my new predicament, I hear a believed voice. Huh? What happened? I was just dreaming. Where am I anyways? Uh, I was back on the deck. 
Remembering the events before I lost consciousness instantly makes me alert. Right, I was trying to defend Maria when the ship was hit by a wave. I got washed from the boat and into the sea. But I lost consciousness shortly after. I have no idea how I ended up here. Um, so what happened? What happened to everyone else? Is Maria safe? Thoughts jumble in my head. Nicole, crum Nicole combs his hand through his wet hair and looks around. The first reading I read combs his hand through her wet hair and I was like, oh my. <laughs> no, it's his. Well, now you are forced to be alone with her. Thank you, you involved. I'm sorry I got you involved. Well, he would have been very upset if he wasn't here. Yeah. むしろあの波の中で、カタリナを見失わずに済んでよかった。海流が激しくて、不条することも難しかったからな。下手をすれば、歴史していたかもしれない。Drowned? In other words, I wouldn't have become one with the sea. A sense of safety washes over me, realizing I dodged a doom end. I see, I was about to die. 風の魔法を使って… なんとか呼吸は確保していたつもりだが。具合は大丈夫か。あ、はい。全然そこは平気です。そうか。良かった。Oh oh, man, can you imagine how Jordan the others feel right now? Both Nicole and Katarina are washed out the sea. As I slowly sit up, Nicole re releases a long sigh. He sounds deeply relieved. Especially since they never resurfaced. <laughs> like, yeah. Can you imagine thinking that two of your friends are dead? <laughs> he was making sure I was breathing this whole time. The fatigue is written on his face. And he fought Frederick too. He's been using magic this whole time. If you think he was using wind magic to keep me alive after all that, I can only imagine how exhausted that must have been. Magic is similar to stamina. Far from being infinite, it is depleted with use. If you rest for a while, it will recover, but non stop usage will push you to your limit. I wish there was something to eat. <laughs> I know she's not thinking of herself, she's thinking of him. She wants to replenish his strength, but that was just funny. <laughs> the best thing for rest are eating and sleeping. I rifle through my pockets, but sadly, don't find anything. Even if you did, they'd be like salt water locked. <laughs> That's no good. We've got to find food fast. それにしても、ここってどこなんでしょう。俺も具体的な場所はわからないんだが、霧が出ているところを見るに、ブランカ駅の中の島だと思う。Fog doesn't look that heavy. I actually didn't even realize it until he said something. Oh, he's right. The fog is really thick, but I only see it when it's hovering over his clothes. <笑>何にせよ。ここにいては体が冷える。ひとまず雨風をしのげる場所を探そう。There's no rain or wind. Nicole offers his hand to me. I reach for it, and that's when it registers. Hey, Nicole is back to his usual self. She's blushing about this. He is no longer avoiding me or acting awkward. My pleasure must be apparent because Nicole gives me a bemused look. どうした? いえ、いつものニコル様に戻ったのが嬉しくて。Would be very rude to ignore you when you're the only one there. Nicole gasps and looks away awkwardly. すまない. Oh no, I made him remember, and just when things were getting back to normal, Nicole looks hurt and tries to pull his hand away, so I rush to continue talking. あのニコル様。それより私、ニコル様に何かしてしまったんでしょうか。あ、それは何か気に障ることをしてしまっていたなら謝りたいんです。なので遠慮なく言ってもらえると。違うんだ。Yeah, I knew it. If you told him this, he would get really upset that he
His eyes grew wide with surprise and Nicole gasped. He looks guilty for raising his voice. His eyes are cast down to the ground. So why is he avoiding me? Another heavy silence falls. But then the ocean breeze hits me and my drenched body shivers. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> Burr, my whole body's freezing. <laughs> well, I don't want to you can stay warm. <laughs> After that full body sneeze, I begin to aggressively rub my arms. I glance at Nicole and find him dumbfounded. Imano <laughs> What? Oh uh, crap, Keith and even Mother have warned me that my sneeze is unladylike. <laughs> when I sneeze, I'm supposed to sneeze like a proper noble and say excuse me afterwards, but I totally forgot. <laughs> but Nicole doesn't seem offended. If anything, he looks amused. The stiff expression from earlier has been replaced by something soft that makes me happy. <laughs> So I'm imagining them finding a cave, making a fire, drying their clothes by the fire, and facing away from each other while they're like half naked. But I know that it, that is not lady and gentlemanly like, so it's probably not going to happen. But that's the first thing my mind goes to. Ah, uh, but in the distance, Oh, I see. If this is a deserted island, we'll have to scavenge for spring water and fruit. We might even have to make a raft. I really would rather not get the marooned on- <laughs> What? I really would rather not get the marooned on an island end. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Ringing the seawater out of my dress, I set out to explore the island with Nicole. Well, this episode should be interesting. We haven't been stranded on an island before. <laughs> I would think there'd be some fruit trees in the woods. The foliage is thick and heavy. I can barely see through it. I can't find any mushrooms or nuts on the ground either. We slowly carve a path through the undergrowth. Cole uses his magic to dry our clothes and hair as we walk. Well, that's no fun. <laughs> you should have used a campfire. <laughs> Unlike a dryer, the wind is cold. Trying to dry them quickly will leave us frozen instead. There you go. As a result, the process is slow. My body temperature is slowly dropping. Ugh, I'm cold and there's nothing to eat. I consider climbing a tree to get a better view of the area. As I look around for a tree, I spot something beyond the fog. <laughs> Is it a cave? <laughs> oh. Oh. They're gonna find the pirate's mansion. That's boring. <laughs> oh, someone lives here. Or someone is here. I guess the island is inhabited after all. Nicole and I glance at each other and head for the mansion. I really wanted them to be stuck on an island for a whole episode. I was looking forward to that, but whatever. <laughs> We charge through the hilly forest until finally the trees part to reveal a clearing. Seeing the building up close, I can tell that it is dated but extravagant. But it kind of feels like a haunted mansion. I remember visiting the western themed haunted mansion in my past life. It gives me shivers. I turn away from the site and my eyes fall on a cleanly paved path leading away from the mansion. あ、道があるかも。that's true. This mansion is on a pretty steep hill, 
but despite our high vantage point, there are no other buildings in sight. でも、この建物の中に人がいるかもしれないですもんね。そうだな。塔の昔に捨てられた島でなければ。Right now, getting dry is more important than exploring. You knock on the door, nervously pray someone is inside. No, is no one around? If you take a step back and spot signs of life in the mansion, I look up at the windows. Unfortunately, there are no lights emanating with, with from within, not a single sign of residence. And we finally found this mansion too. They said that they spot they spot signs of life, and they said no one's here. Maybe they forgot the word no, <laughs> no signs of life. <laughs> Refusing to simply surrender, I squint my eyes and watch closely. Then I see a flutter in the second floor window. Focusing on the spot, I can see a shadow moving beyond a curtain, and for just a single moment, amber eyes. Oh my goodness. My heart is pounding. A different kind of chill runs through me. Those eyes remind me of my dream. This is just like a horror movie. My whole body is covered in goosebumps. Could that be a... a... Katarina, <laughs> what <you> <laughs> A ghost? He... <laughs> I shiver, pointing to the second floor, but Nicole tilts his head. Huh? I look up at the window again, but no longer see anything there. Still, I know I saw it. Those amber eyes. I didn't imagine it. So it is a ghost. このままでは語りなが風邪をひくだろう。それに人影というのも気になる。<笑> Huh? When did he say that? Oh, it was... なあ、どうやらそのような一節があるらしい。このブランカ駅に霧は恋人に裏切られた魔女の呪いだと。実際、こうして昼夜問わず、ほぼ一日中霧で覆われるようになったのは千年ほど前からだと言われている。魔女の目には魔力が宿ったというが。まあ、実際目に魔力が宿るなんて話は現実的ではないだろうから、誰かの創作なのだろうとは思え。Ah, uh, no, that was the end game, Nicole. The Nicole from my dream. The curse, huh? I look around, the fog seems thicker than ever. It really is a horrible time to be remembering that story. Katarina, is it cold? Ah, yes. It's cold, or something. I take another glance at the second story window. No one is there. There's a chance I did imagine it, but I, I must have been mistaken. But that thought does little to assuage my fears. I almost want to curl up in a ball right here, but... Uh, it's so cold, I'm going inside. I just want to hurry in and warm up. I hug my body, shivering from the wind. Nicole and I open the door. That's definitely the Pirate's Mansion. <laughs> I anticipated the place would be a rotting, dusty mess, but it seems well maintained. I'm so glad there's no way a ghost is showing up here. 
I sigh and the tension leaves my body, but Nicole's expression stiffens. He has a point. Nicole and I search the mansion, but there is not a single person here. It is unnerving. That go of our footsteps is the only sound. It makes me feel even colder. I am scared. The lighting is dim. There is no one around. It is totally a haunted mansion. I subconsciously grab Nicole's sleeve. He gasps and turns around. <sighs> Nicole looks surprised and troubled. His reaction brings me back to my senses. Ah, uh, right. I don't know what's going on with Nicole, but he's avo he's been avoiding me. I'm sure this bothers him. Kneeling down, I let go to give him space, but Nicole grabs my hand before it falls. Ah, uh, yeah. If you can rest easy, then hold on. <laughs> I don't want us to be separated. <laughs> I was hoping he would come for her with a hug at some point, but no. They're still being awkwardly far from each other. <laughs> After spotting those amber eyes earlier, I can't help but feel like their owner will pop out at any second. Yes, I want you to hug her. <laughs> or hold her hands. He is acting even more awkward than before, but his usual usual thoughtfulness is there. It makes me happy, so I grab his sleeve again without hesitation. <sighs> Nicole looks away again. I think I hear him whisper an apology. Oh, I did you to. In the next room, we find a towel placed on the desk. At first, we assumed it's used, but it feels dry to the touch, soft and plush. あ、<笑><笑> I wonder who would be living here. If someone lived here, I think it would show. There's no lived-in feeling. It's pirates. And they're all out to sea capturing your friends. As a place for someone to live, it is far too empty and cold. But for a deserted house, it is it is too orderly. The clean towel is especially odd. It's a conundrum. And I tilt my head and thought I feel something soft plop down on it. <laughs> He's going to dry your hair for you. <laughs> he wraps my head with a towel and carefully wipes to dry my hair. His face is expressionless, but I can see the corner of his eyes. It reminds me of the way he looks at Sophia sometimes. The brother in him came out. <laughs> I made is normally the one who dries hair, but seeing how naturally he does it, Nicole may do this for Sophia for t from time to time. It makes me happy that he is taking care of me though, and I chuckle. What <laughs> is <laughs> I 
I want to see him getting embarrassed when you dry his hair. I want to see him getting embarrassed the same goes for you, Nicole. It would only empower your devilish aura. <laughs> but when he's taking care of me like this, he's the same kind of Nicole I know. Sophia did say he didn't hate me. Even if I don't know why he's avoiding me before, I'll just have to wait for him to open up. As Nicole wipes my hair with a towel, he uses wood magic to dry my clothes. Now that we're indoors, and thanks to the towel, the wind does not feel so cold. Through the combined of magic and towels, <laughs> the two of us fully dry off. That's no fun. <laughs> now that our clothes are dry, we resume our investigation of the mansion. Walking the corridor feels way better now that we aren't drenched. Although I still smell like the ocean. But that can't be helped. I just pray this mansion has a bath. <laughs> Thinking that I start to walk again, but Nicole suddenly stops. ニコルさんもどうしたんですかいや、時々何かの気配を感じるんだがえそれはこの屋敷の住人的ないや、気配を感じて振り返るとどうにも消えるんださて、he <笑> <いや>、<笑> senses that disappears. Could it be? I knew it. It's a ghost. Blood runs cold in my veins. I lunge for Nicole's sleep again. あ、余計なこと言ってしまった。すまない。え、いえ、私が聞いたので、えっと、ちなみにその気配ってどんな感じなんですか。気にすることはない。きっとネズミか何かだろう。what was that silence for? That's scary. Clearly, Nicole decided to withhold something. Just what does he sense? Thinking about what it could be makes me shake. The figure with the amber eyes I saw from the window. What if it really was a ghost? The air is still, like time has stopped. I gulped down my worries, and Nicole and I returned to our exploration. I'm just gonna walk around until the pirates stop. Eventually, we reach the room where I thought I saw the figure. However, no one is here. I think this is where Giordo took you to confess to you. <laughs> Honestly, opening the door was a gut squeezing moment. <laughs> this feels like something straight out of a horror game. But there is nothing at all, no ghost in sight. I sigh in relief, but Nicole tenses. They're hiding in the closet. Yeah. A letter on the ground by the desk is an envelope. Nicole picks it up, checking inside, but it's empty. Nicole flips the envelope over and his eyes grow wide. Oh. <laughs> they arrived there quickly. <laughs> we turn around to find a familiar voice. There stands Silva. Yo! <laughs> Yo! Silva! Why Neither is someone watching him in there, hiding in the closet. <laughs> Following Silva's command, the pirate at his side departs. Oh, well, whatever. They weren't hiding. I stand watching for a moment and then turn back to Silva. I want to know who got there first, because obviously, I don't know how long it would take to float to shore, but they seem to have been their way before them. なるほど。たびたび感じていた人の気配はバイス海賊団のものだったのか。Oh, nothing but pirates. <laughs> 
There was no ghost after all. Learning the mansion is used by people we know. Feels like a weight off my shoulders. It's like staff just came barging into a haunted mansion, right? What? It's like staff just came barging into a haunted mansion, right? Yeah, I guess I read that right. <laughs> <laughs> She's really happy though. <laughs> oh, right. Very true. This is really not the time for relief. I was so caught up by the ghost that I completely forgot.潮の流れからしてこの島に着くとは思ってたけど一応これでも焦ってたんだぜお前らは大切な人質だからな人質かそれはクイード王国の、という意味かえ何の話だ Silva's eyes sharpened. Nicole holds up the envelope we found earlier. Yeah, what does it say? Who's it addressed to? Wait, Nicole points to the wax seal on the envelope. The design is an owl like bird within a wreath of ivy. The seal is beautiful, but what about it, though? It does seem familiar. This is Ah. <laughs> we know who you are. Oh, that's right. He did have a badge that looked just like that. これはクイードの国章だったはずだ。なぜそんなクイードの国章の入った封筒が海賊一味の味とにある。まさかクイードとお前たちは繋がっているのか。At first, Silva seemed taken aback by Nicole's interrogation, but at this, he starts to laugh. ははははは。まさかそういう発想になるとはな。さすが育ちがいい坊ちゃんだよ。残念ながらお前の予想は外れた。そいつは襲撃前に失敬した手紙の封筒だからな。Nicole eyes Silva suspiciously, but in the end, he sighs and places the envelope on the desk. <sighs> so I mean, he probably could be telling the truth. So real, ka. Omae ra onakama no koto wa ii no ka yo. Zuibun shinpai shite ta mite da ga. Huh? Minna wa buji na no? Tuu ka, doko ni iru no? Chodo koko ni tochaku shita koro da. Shita no kai ni iru ze. They've just about arrived. Did he take off on a boat before them? <laughs> Silver grins, signaling the door with his chin. Nicole and I nod to each other and hurry downstairs. Well... Mina! <laughs> My hopes that they would spend an entire episode alone together on an island has been dashed away. <laughs> Nesa! Sophia shakes with emotion, hugging us tight as she cries. The feeling of Sophia's soft warmth drives home the fact that we are together again. カタリナ、あなたもですよ。もう嵐の中の甲板を走るような危険な真似は絶対にやめてください。そうです、カタリナ様。もう二度とあんなことなさらないでください。私のせいでカタリナ様が落ちてしまって。<笑> 
he can't help the fact that pirates want you. Mario no say Well, not pirates, but set. You can't help the fact that you want to be abducted. Maria's voice chokes, tears one in her eyes. Seeing Maria's shoulders quiver, I realize just how much I worried her. みんなごめんね。でもほら、無事だったから。それに原因は船が揺れたせいよ。マリアのせいじゃないわ。そうだな。けどな、カタリナ。天候のせいでもあるけど、あそこで飛び出さなきゃ落ちなかっただろう。わ
Now they want to talk about the situation again, and we already know the situation from all the other talks in the previous routes. Kaizo Kuga Kyoten ni Suriyo na Shima da Karana. Hoka no Juni wa i nai ってことか I mean, I know they gotta do this just in case you do Nicole's route first, but still, it's a little bit repetitive. Ah, o s o r a k e So de. はい。それで他の乗客もこの屋敷に運ばれているのか。はい。それぞれまた部屋を与えられて軟禁されているみたいです。ですが、この屋敷内であれば自由に動き回って構わないようです。様子を見てみますか。そうね。行ってみましょう
With everything that has happened today, food slipped my mind. Thinking of it now, I am I have barely eaten. The moment I remember my stomach rumbles, I can feel everyone's stares. <laughs> When we arrive at the dining hall, the food has already been set out, so I dive right one. <laughs> right on? Uh, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Mm, the food is so good, I could get used to this flavor. The spread is different from what we had on the ship, but it, the wide variety of seafood is mouth-watering. As I eat and eat, Nicole turns to Rosie, standing behind me. Rosie, you don't have to eat Ah, um. ほら、服とかオイルで汚れてるから座ったら汚しちゃうかなと思ってさ。それの修繕をしているんだ。なるほど。船も戦利品ということですね。Oh, I see. Are they going to fix up and sell it? Or maybe they intend to use it to bring us back home. But the explosion was severe enough that they need to fix it. Seth's so, courageous doing that to his own ship. そういえば、ノーディンコート フレデリック卿は捕らえたという話だったが。ああ、うん。この屋敷とは別の場所に隔離して厳重に見張っているよ。何するかわからないからね。あの時は結構こちら側でも負傷者が出たし、恨んでいる人も多いからさ。お互い
れはいいやんだわお母さまに手紙を届けてもらえそう<笑> To get to your mother. <laughs> By the time you've already been sold. But I'm going to be able to get to the money. I'm going to be able to get to the m o n e At least this one was really short. <laughs> We're going to ask for a discount. Dewa, Mino Shiro King will keys to Futari de Hitoribun Nishimurao. To you, Koto de Ediscono. All right, everything is set then. With the strategy meeting concluded, I get out of bed and get to work. All right, I need to find Silva. It's funny. <laughs> When I open the door, I find everyone returning from the dining hall. Katarina Sama, Sugoi Kioi de Ohiani Modora Remastanga, Dajobu de Staka? Eh, Dajobu, ya? Toto Kanga go to Stakata Dakano. Da, Toto Tikuba. She's like, bye. Ia it Tikurte, Dokoni Ikuno Nesa. Huh? Sorevo Mutino, Silva no Tokoyo. Why would you tell them that? They're all gonna freak out on you now. Shiriba. <laughs> They look strange and gloomy. <laughs> Masaka, Kare ni yobi da sarete iru toka. So you wake dewa nine desu yo ne. I thought they would be like, uh, heck no, you're definitely not going. Did we warn you not to go to him? Eh! Mino shiro kin wo herashite mora o to omotte. It's so funny how honest she is. <laughs> She's just like, yeah, I'm gonna go ask for a lower ransom. No big deal. Minoshirokinoheras? <laughs> Everyone's like, what in the world are you talking about? Mata hen na koto yi da shite. So na o negai shita tokoro de. Ano hito no koto da kara. Mata taika o yokose toka yu ni kimatte ru jana ika. She's like, I'll just give her what I want. Demo, kono mama ja watashi take oite ikare jau kamo shire nai shi. ふふ。一体どういう思考回路してるんだよ、お前は。クライスケが払えないはずないだろ。そうですよ、カタリナ。もしクライスケが無理だと返答しても、僕がきちんとお支払いしますから。ああ、that's <笑> <笑>大丈夫ですわ。何があっても私がカタリナ様をお守りします。私もですわ。それに身代金の要求が彼らの本当の目的かどうかもわかりませんもの。Oh, Nicole smiles gently at me, but a moment later he gasps and looks away. <laughs> He's spoken too much to her. His face looks so pained, I can't help but grab onto the hem of his shirt. Yes, he's winning. <laughs> oh, he's so pained. He's like, I can't do this. He's like, go to your fiance and leave me alone. Oh. Nicole frowns, looking at my hand on his shirt. I rush for an excuse. Eh, <laughs> Nicole has already graduated. He should be knowledgeable when it comes to negotiation, or so I'm thinking, but. So, s h e t h a n a s h i a j i o r d o n i k i t e k r e Aww. He's like, please go talk to your fiance. I can't take it anymore. Giordo? 
I look over at Giorgio, wondering why Nicole would suggest to him. His expression is complex. Nicole, ano, sasaga ni yari zrain desu ga. Oh, he knows his fiance is gone. <laughs> She's fallen for Nicole. Moto tadoreba, anata no hatsugen ga genin desu wa yo. Okay, so that's not why he, he's pained because not because he thinks that Katarina is calling for him yet. It's because he doesn't want to overstep his boundary as a friend and push her off on her fiance. I wonder what they're talking about. <laughs> The others guide me back into our room. Things do not go as planned, but with everyone here, I figure things will turn out okay somehow. A few days later, I'm bored. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Another day confined in the mansion, I lounge upon the bed. Keith and the others are busy strategizing, but they kicked me out saying that I'll just get off subject. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you will though. <laughs> Maria and Sophia are making the rounds cheering up the nobles. I wanted to go with them, but everyone insisted I get some rest. Now you need to get some Nicole tie because we're on chapter 6 and you've progressed like even less further than what Alan has in his room. Just because he's avoiding you though. Maybe due to the nightmare induced dark circles under my eyes, but I'd rather be with the others. I lounge as such thoughts cross my mind. My hand bumps on something hard. Hmm? What is that? I turn over to find a book on my bed. Rosie brought it for me with breakfast as a way to kill time. That was sweet. Oh, that's right. I was going to read this. It would be pointless to keep lying around doing nothing, so I begin at once. On the, <laughs> on the cover of the book is printed the words Folk Tales of Quid. That would bore me. <laughs> Folk Tales, huh? How nostalgic. I used to read Sorcier ones as a child. Well, I guess if you like them. I read them before I hit my head though. I remember saying, this is boring <laughs> throwing the book. After regaining my memories, I found romance novels. I bet there are some great folk tales here. If I make it back to Sorcerer safely, I will definitely give the Sorcerer folk tales another shot. I wonder what Quidia folk tales are like. Intrigued, I flipped through the pages of stories about princes and princesses. Aha! This is how folk tales are. I'm starting to remember the Sorcerer ones now. Despite being from different kingdoms, many of the stories are similar. The details change, but the base narratives remain. Flipping through is getting me excited to start reading. Then I come across a page with an unusual picture. The title page reads, A Story of Fog. Ooh. Fog. Talk about perfect timing. Even now, the window view is obscured in heavy mist. Reading on, it seems the story has been passed down for a thousand, for a thousand years. I can barely contain my interest and flip the page. A long, long time ago, there was a place called Witch's Island. A young witch lived there. One day, she chanced upon a young man who had landed on the island's coast. However, this young man was actually a prince, the sole heir to his kingdom. The prince was found by the warriors of his kingdom and forced to return home. The two were separated, but before the prince departed the island, the witch offered him a jeweled accessory. Fog was the witch's domain. It held the power to mystify all things. Space, time, all would become ambiguous. With all her magic and love, the witch cast a spell upon the pair of jewels. They shone with the same piercing color as her eyes. Please take this with you and wish upon this jewel that we might be reunited. If our feelings are mutual, then that wish will come true. 
Stoking her wish inside the jewel, she made an accessory for the man. But it was never used. And no matter how much the witch wished upon her jewel, her feelings went unanswered. Slowly the shimmering jewel in the witch's hand was quietly forgotten. Wait, this is the end? It seems like the story is a tragedy. It's way sadder than I expected. Why do I feel like I've heard the witch's eye before? I flip to the next page, still trying to remember. The next story is completely different. It's a humorous love story, and I soon forget all about the tragic romance. <laughs> She's very forgetful, isn't she? A few hours later. Oh man, I had way too much tea. I was drinking tea with Sophia and Mary after they returned to the room, and now I'm on my way to the bathroom. Too much tea indeed. Katarina-sama, <laughs> Maria smiles softly, as adorable as ever. It's an Atomi heroine. <laughs> That's an Atomi heroine for you. <laughs> Hey, come to think of it, this could be the world of the fan disc, right? Which means, depending on how Maria's love life unfolds, I could be walking right into a doom end. Since I never played the fan disc myself, I completely forgot. So, Connor randomly asked about her love life. あ、あと、海賊のシルバとか。なあ、あと、海賊のシルバとか。あと、海賊のシルバとか。あと、海賊のシルバとか。あと、海賊のシルバとか。あと、海賊のシルバとか。あと、海賊のシルバとか。あと
ですか Maria stares at me blankly. It, it is just like she did in game, but judging by that, she doesn't know yet. It seems like she has yet to speak to Nicole about it. Relief rushes through me. Huh? But why? Tilt in my head, I wonder why I feel so relieved. But then I feel someone watching me. Katarina sama? Do you stand this? Yeah, Nanka, she said, Oh, can't you tell? I turn around and notice that a nearby door is cracked open. Is someone there? Somehow I'm oddly curious. Drawn to the door, I step inside. Just go in some side someone's random room. That's a lot of stuff. Dang. Huh? I wonder what this room is for. It doesn't feel like the others. It looks like they stashed all their treasure in there. Katarina Sama, how did you do that? Oh, yeah. I thought someone was in there, but... What room is this? The room is in the gallery lounge. She's right. Oh, yeah. Yes, she's right. It appears this is the place where the pirates are hoarding all the stolen trinkets from the vinculum. Well, they are pirates. I'm sure they took everything in value. Huh? But why is the door open? Why didn't they keep it under lock and key? Did they just forget? Whatever the case, Silva might be upset if he catches us in here. I turn to leave, but I see from the corner of my eye something glittering in the darkness. Ooh. That looks like an amber pendant. <laughs> like from the full tail. This is... Oh. That's the name of the magic of the people. I totally forgot about that because I've been skipping everything that we've already read in past content. Yeah, yeah, you call out the wishes eye. This was the necklace I was looking at in the gallery lounge when I met Rosie for the first time. Witch's eye. It's so beautiful, but this color reminds me of something. <laughs> Katarina sama? Maria's voice echoes in the distance. But my thoughts are hazy. I can feel myself being drawn to the necklace. The amber sheen glistens mystically. I have to hurry and take it. And Rosie stopped you the last time too, so there's something up with that necklace. <gasps> Whoa. The moment my finger touches the necklace, there is a flash. My consciousness fades to nothing. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh. Katarina Sama? Do Saremashtaka? Yurusanai. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> she's turned into the other Katarina, and now, and now she's her subconscious is gone. I did not think this was going to happen. That she, that she would actually turn into the Katarina she was afraid to turn into. I thought, you know, she, there's like there's no way she could revert consciousnesses, right? I mean, she's done it once in the past, but... Oh no. This will get Nicole's attention. <laughs> and that's the end. Oh no. Well, I obviously can't keep on reading. I need to go to bed 17 minutes ago, but I recorded this back to back with the previous episode. And of course, we're at another cliffhanger. <laughs> Um, but chapter seven is next, and that is the last chapter. I guess Nicole will finally confess his feelings in chapter seven, hopefully. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been it's been really slow compared to Alan's route, I must say. Um, slow in the romance section and slow just in the overall story because they're just running around, you know, trying to figure out how to be saved. Soon we will be at the ending, so I am very much looking forward to that. See how it ends. I'm looking forward to how Nicole confronts his conflicted feelings with his, with his friend. But if you guys did enjoy, please drop a like down below and or subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.